turn the volume down. Okay. I'm going to try to assert right fast if I can. Okay. We rolling though. GMS Glock. <laughs> That's an old channel I had a long time ago. I had so many channels. Um, Alright, hold on right fast. I'm going to one more. That's an old channel I had a long time ago. Well, you hear the sound. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm right here. Uh, hold on one more. It's rolling, right? Yeah, yeah. I can start it off on YouTube, you know. If you want to, you just start it. All right. All right. Uh, so, the one, first off, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Sir Solomon taught the Akim out here that are doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. All right, you know, GMS uh, Baltimore here. You know, we got the uh, head of the GMS Baltimore, you yeah, know, Karate Zaba. You know, and uh, Taz Warrior. You know, we want to go on this, uh, this topic of, um, you know, there are many devices. Uh, that keep Jake lost, you know, in this uh, world. Um, if we could start off with uh, Job 9 and uh, 24. Yeah, huh? Yeah. Job 9 and 24. Yeah. Um, this is the book of uh, Job 9, verse 24. It says, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Mm -hmm. And and the the point is, you know that in this world right now is is controlled by the wicked, which the wicked, according according to the scriptures, is Esau or or Edom. Okay, the, the so called Caucasians or the white man. Okay, and pretty much what we're doing is we're living in a world that is ran by completely wicked people, you know? And um, if you don't have any knowledge, you know, or, or wisdom or understanding, you're, you're doomed to go through life as a lost individual, you know? So in, 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 uh, in this perspective of, uh, of life that we're living, we're looking at life from the so-called white man's point of view, you know? That's why you have a lot of people that sit up there and call themselves African American or black or whatever else terminology the so-called white man put on them, you know. Whereas though, when you go deeper into it, it's just confusing, you know. And the Lord in the scriptures it says that the Lord is not the author of confusion, okay. So it's not the Most High uh, God who is causing this confusion, you know. It's the so-called white man. The Lord is using Satan to, to, to cause this confusion, yeah. you know? Yeah. But um, I got a scripture, uh, Hosea 4 and 1. It says, hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Because there is no knowledge, you know, about, you know, who the real children of Israel are, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, we just went to that movie last night, yeah. 1804, the Haitian... Uh, yeah. Revolution, right? You know, and a, a person that's just walking into that movie, you know, just randomly, you know. But you had some people that was there that, you know, nine times out of ten they don't they don't understand that the Haitians or so called Haitians are the tribe of Levi, right? You know, right. But you had some people that was there that, you know, it was kind of like them uh, a secret type of thing, you know, the movie. Mm -hmm. You know, where you had to, it was like a secret invite, you know, you had to, to be on the inside to know about this thing. Mm -hmm. But the people who go there to these, you know, these little uh, movies like that 1804, even watch the Hidden Colors thing, mm -hmm. which is good because they have a lot of history in there. Mm -hmm. But the person that's walking in there, they ain't going to walk out with... Edified. Yeah, edified. With any knowledge of the truth. Yeah. You know, now... It's a possibility that you might have an elect that's docile who may see that movie and then later on down a lot of wake up to the truth. Right. And then he can apply what he just saw 
and say, oh, okay, now I understand. Now we understand why Jake uh, is trying to find all avenues to save himself when the, the, the true deliverer is Yahweh Shah. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. You know? You're not going to be able to deliver yourself out of this, this affliction. And uh, uh, going in that movie, I don't want to jump off, but going in that right. movie, they was um, they was explaining how uh, you had uh, um, uh, what's what's the, those generals? Uh, what were they? Um, French yeah. French generals who were Jake, and it was always Jake fighting against Jake. Really, it was just Esau uh, had his hand in it because it was really bankers' wars, pretty much. It was really all about the money control and taking land and territory, but Jake was always used in the forefront of that, man. So this proves that Cornelius, uh, uh, when you go further back in time, Cornelius, uh, in, 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 in that era, guess what? He was a Jake. This proves that they've always used Jakes as generals and uh, sergeants and, and lieutenants and armies, man, even to the day. Right. You know? Right. Uh, you had more on that? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, this is Hosea 4 and 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Okay, and that controversy, you know, that's why it's always a, a struggle to try to get the truth out, man. You know? It's kind of like that... Um, you know, that movie, They Live. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get people to see, you know, things for what they are. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Instead of putting these rose petal glasses on mm -hmm. and, and walking through life like it's all pieces of cream. Right. You know what I'm saying? Whereas though, we we, we telling you, you know, we, we give you the water, man. Mm -hmm. You know? We can't make you drink it. And, and it's to the point where if we, even if you did drink it, we, we got to damn near beat you halfway to death to force you to drink it, yeah. you know? Yeah. So so the, the thing is, it's a, it's a struggle trying to get people to, to that are so lost in this world to wake up, man. You know? It yeah. says... Yeah, he, he always also said, the guy, Tariq Nasheed or whatever, uh -huh. he also claimed that it was through Bible and Christianity that our people got destroyed. Yeah. That's not the truth. I mean, in a sense, it's true because they use the scriptures to further destroy us. Now, these, these scriptures destroy us for lack of understanding, but these scriptures also going to save us. Right. Now, if the scriptures was totally 100% true to everybody, then guess what? Everybody would probably get it. Right? Right. So then you would have more than an elect. You would have more than 144,000. You would have more than a one-third elect. So the Lord... You know, your how about you know child scriptures is true. You only want a small number. So in that movie, they was kind of going into saying that it was the Bible that destroyed us and these philosophies and, and Christianity and all that. When really the, the scripture says that it's because of following these false gods and and, and worshiping with uh death demons. Right. That's what destroyed us, man. Uh, Salaki, go ahead. Uh, if you were, if you were, uh, if you come into this the the Bible with a heathenistic state of mind, of yeah. course you're gonna be lost. Yeah, you know, because yeah. the Bible ain't for heathens. No, nope. you know. Yeah. But you got a lot of heathens that are trying to teach this Bible. You know, like it's like it's the truth. Yeah. You know, like I believe the uh, the Ark of the Covenant. Mm -hmm. You know, when when they tried to take it and they, you know, they when when they when they took it, it started fucking them up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it wasn't for you. Mm -hmm. You know? The, the Lord ain't for for everybody, man. You know? And that's why that's one of the, the, the things that we're going into. Mm -hmm. You know? It says because there is no truth. That's why the Lord has a controversy with this land, because there is no truth, yeah. nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. No. There is a completely zero knowledge of God in the land. When you go into that movie, 1804, there was no knowledge of God in that movie. You know, a person that's an atheist can look at that movie and think, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. they made it more universal knowledge, whereas though it's like there's a history to why the the uh, the uh, Haitians even got to that that land. Right. You know, they 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 
they went a little deep, but they didn't go deep enough. Right. You know, they, they they had all these people that was trying to, you know, he said this this person later on in the, in the thing said that, mm-hmm. so they caught, tried to confirm the facts and stuff mm-hmm. like that, you know. But at the end of the day, it's like they kept on saying African. Where the hell, when, when, a person that's, that's, that's knowledgeable, okay, which we have the, we have the, 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 the tools to, to, to get knowledge. Mm-hmm. You know, one of the devices that keep people lost are these goddamn phones and shit, yep. you know? Yep. And it's like, all right, yeah, you, you, you got apps on the phone. If you, if you are a, 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 a young man, you know, growing up in this world, you know, a lot, a lot of these children like to sit up there and say, I need a phone, you know? And then they go to school and then they on that phone all goddamn day, yep. you know? Whereas though an older person, you're supposed to know, hey, you know, this phone is actually a tool. It's yep. called a smartphone for a reason. Yeah, that, that, you know that, what I'm saying? Yep. But you got dumb people that are using smartphones. Yep. It ain't the fact that the phone got people... Uh, laws. Yeah. It's the fact that people that, that are using the phone are lost. Yeah. That's yeah. the same way with the Bible. Yeah. They, they're using it as a, a folly tool. They want to look at the the next fight. Like, I'm talking about street fight. You know, drama. Meanwhile, these rats and these Edomites are gearing up and preparing themselves, man. While you jakes, all you want to do is, is, is folly. You know, God. Oh, uh, it's a little bit more. It says by swearing and lying, there's a lot of lies in this land, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. and uh, you cannot tell a a a, a, a lie without knowing the truth. Mm-hmm. You know, it says and killing, because that that's one thing also. Mm-hmm. You know, the 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 people that was older. You know, that knew certain things as far as, like, the history, uh, the so-called white man is the devil and stuff like that. Like, look at the um, Black Panthers. Where the hell they at? Right. You know, they a lot of these people that was older, that was, you know, speaking out against the society, they got they got put to death. Mm-hmm. You know? Like Dr. Savy. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. <laughs> he, got, he got put to death and he was curing people. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because, the, you know what? You know why he got put to death? Because... And that should be Sabies trying to help people. Sa- Sabianites. Sabianites, yeah. <laughs> like Garveyites. Yeah, yeah, Garveyites. <laughs> but that was they get from Israelite. Yeah. You know, or the scriptures. Uh, Hamites. Yeah. You know, your yeah, ites is a, a nation. You know? But the reason why they put them to death because the Lord says none can deliver you. When I sit up there and put you to death, you going you get you going out. Yeah. So when Sabies start saving people, Hey man, that's almost like saying you you getting out of your, you out of your captivity. Yeah. The Lord said no. Nah. Yeah. Although he did good things that didn't help people, man. But at the end of it all, man, the Lord had the last call on that. Yeah. Or and the first call. Yeah. Hey, you know? uh, even uh, Wildclef, uh John. Yeah. In that uh, documentary, he was saying, you know, I was trying to do this for the people. Yeah. Is that or whatever? They tried to kill him. Yeah. You know, they said, stay in your lane, boy. Yeah. So that proves that Esau is still in control. Esau been in control. When the Lord gave the earth to Esau, going back to, uh, uh, what is it, Alexander, okay? Alexander, Epiphanes, and, uh, uh, I mean, Antiochus, Alexander, the so-called great, you know? They went around, and uh, the four feathers, they just went around the whole globe, man. Yeah. And, and, well, not the globe, they didn't get America, but they pretty much conquered most of that region. Yeah, they, they, they left yeah. that mark. They left yeah. their mark, right. Yeah. Hellenizing the world. And especially, in a sense, uh, America is really off of Alexander now, man. Yeah. You know, because really America is the modern day Rome. That's all it is. So Esau basically conquered the whole world. God. And nobody's going to deliver you. They, they wondering, first they claim that the Bible is what caused us people to be, okay, now you niggas don't believe in the Bible. Now what? Yeah. You took up your own black conscious movements and motivational speeches. You got these black conscious leaders getting paid, writing uh, 1804, getting uh, uh, record de- uh, film deals and shit. Yeah. Get the hell out of here, man. You just getting richer, and, you're, and the poor is not, Jake is not getting nothing. 
we actually we're rich according to the scriptures. Yeah. You know? Rich with this knowledge. Rich with knowledge, right. If you try to come up against the society or bring out anything, if you're not a puppet, they're gonna try to put you to death. Yep. It says um in yep. stealing, right? Yep. It yep. says uh in committing adultery, that's one of the things that uh keep jig lost. Mm -hmm. You know, uh these women, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, because mm -hmm. one of the major things right now is uh they say uh sex sells, you know? And uh, I don't know if you heard about it, but now that uh, Hugh Hefner is dead, now all of a sudden Playboy got a, the first transgender of Playboy Bunny. I ain't never heard that shit, but I'm not surprised. It was crazy. Like, That's now crazy. that he's dead, now that the, the, the founding forefather of the Playboy Mansion is gone, you know, the people that probably was there from, from there on, they're not going to speak out against that type of mm -hmm. stuff. But now all of a sudden, there's a new generation that's coming on, yeah. and just not holding on to what the old generation is, is uh has spoke. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the old generation ain't, ain't, ain't keeping the, the newer generation in check. No. Nope. You know what I'm saying? They just letting things go. Yeah, because they off. Yeah. They off the Lord because the Lord did it, man. The Lord took the spirit. You know, for them, for the older generation, not to teach this, these these guys, man. Yeah. For really, these people are like this going back to generations. Yeah. This shit been going on, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, generations. They Back then, they was talking about in the 70s, you shouldn't really beat your child like that. And you shouldn't do this and do that. So they started passing laws. It don't, it don't happen overnight, man. It takes 20, 30 years. Yeah. So this, the generation is the today is so destroyed because the generation of, of old. Yeah. And then you saw oh. got this... Every what? Every four, eight, four years. Mm -hmm. Then another four years, the president comes yep. in. He yep. changes up everything that our, our president did. Yep. So every four years, it's always something new that's yep. changing yep. in this society. Yep. You know, and it's 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 at a constant of uh, flow. Yep. You know, and wickedness. Yep. Yep. You know, it says um, if your Havashah don't come back, man, we we'll all be destroyed. Yeah, you know, it's good to speak on that. Yeah. Uh, uh, except those days be shortened, yeah. so no no flesh be, be saved. saved. Yeah, God. it says, and blood touches blood. You know, and that's even going down to these games. Mm -hmm. You know, because a lot of these children that are growing up in these, you know, in poverty, because that's what they were saying about uh, that movie, uh, eighteen oh four. A lot of these children, you know, they're growing up in poverty, mm -hmm. and they put that in a lot of uh, the movies with Jake and stuff like that. Like you ever seen that movie? Uh, I think it was called Hand of, Hands of Stone mm -hmm. with uh, Usher in it. He was the boxer, uh, Sugar Ray uh, Leonard no, versus uh, Roberto uh, Duran. Duran. Yeah. yeah, I just seen that. And that in that movie, uh, they had uh, Roberto Duran because he was under oppression or whatever. Mm -hmm. So basically, he was stealing fruit from the government territory in order to try to feed his family. Right. You know, so what people now would do, because he was in poverty. Right. You know, so people nowadays in, in poverty, they're going to try to steal because that's all they know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to try to get something to, to, to either feed themselves or mm -hmm. feed their family. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But then when you when you go into it, you go into L.A., Chicago, you know, where that's the only thing that these niggas know. They so fucking lost. It ain't no truth out there. You know what I'm saying? And and you growing up in a neighborhood where your mother or or a uh, uh, brother or, or somebody in your family is a gang member, you know, and this is all you know mm -hmm. to life. So growing up, you know, your mindset is 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 gang shit, mm -hmm. you know? You don't know why the hell you you beefing with the the the, the crips in the, you know uh, across from you. Mm -hmm. You know? You just know that they teach Got a whole total different philosophy from you. So coming in, you you were already ignorant because you was you was made that way according to the, to your uh your environment, man. Yep. You know. Now going back to what we were talking about, the older generation, the reason why they failed him, man, because mainly um, he was probably real young at that time, but back in like uh like eighty eight, eighty nine, I was just coming out of high school. That's when that crack cocaine hit, man. Yeah. Me and our brother from the other camp was talking about that. 
That's when that crack cocaine hit, that Ready Rock, and all that shit. When that hit, that destroyed families, man. Yeah. A man that might have been strong and upraising his family. Look, son, you don't do this, do that. He's smoking crack. If he's smoking crack, he upholds anything just to get the crack. And the mother, forget about it. She's the weaker vessel as it is. Can you imagine a weaker vessel even being destroyed? So now they're out of, they out of work. They can't hold a job. They they smoking crack. The uh, the woman needs more money for more crack. So what she does, she take the man to child support and let the state pay her to smoke more crack. These babies are grown up that way. Now look at the the moral fabric of society is gone. Yeah. All because Esau uh, put uh, brought the, the first of all, America was set up as a slavery anyway. So we can't even say that. We can even go back in the 60s and 50s when when a heroin hit, uh, even before then. This whole place was just set. I mean, it was the land of milk and honey to a degree, but it, it was set up for slavery. So it was never meant for Jake to prosper in this bitch, man. Right. You sure uh, you had a scripture? Yeah, I got I, I got one here. This is uh uh James 4 and uh uh, five. It says, do ye think that the scripture said in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth of to envy? That's a question mark. But he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace uh, unto the humble. Okay? And the humble right now is the elect. You know? That's, that's basically it, it, in a nutshell. You know? You got guys that think they're going to uh, uh, get get out of their own captivity. You got guys that saying, like in that movie, that we need to hook up with the, the North Americans and they're the original Haitians and all this crazy shit. You know, they're not humble, man. They're not uh, uh, um, relinquishing themselves to Yahweh Bashem Al Shah. Yeah. Okay. Go. That's the only thing that's going going. Yep. Uh, uh, get us delivered or or uh, have us uh, aware. Or, or um, uh, not lost anymore, you know? Yeah. They're not thing, but that's the only one. Yeah. That's right. Uh, verse 7, Submit yourselves, therefore, to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. And that's what the brother's going into. The stumbling black box, many devices that are in the way. To resist the devil means really to fight the devil. This is why we go out on the hedges and, you know, as brothers, we know when we get out there, sometimes we get in, you know, aggressive arguments. We get in the uh, spiritual fights, you know, and the devil always flee, if you notice. Or he gets quiet and he got nothing else to say. It might seem a little rowdy, but, you know, we get out there and we fight, we fight these devils, man. I mean, every camp is different. Some camps are going to be a little more quiet, laid back. But, hey, man, the Lord set up different camps to do different things. And not just in the camp, even when you go home, when you go on your job, when you go to work, when you your family, it might be your own fucking woman or your children, you know? And you know it's a, a damn shame in this society or this world that they got a little uh, brothel where, uh, where they go, Esau, they go, or they have this brothel where anybody who goes in there they can go and see and have sex with a dog that's in high hills. So you know, here. and they they uh they put the uh, high hills on the dog to make it look like what this with the stocking and make it seem like it's a woman or whatever. They only got half the dog uh covered up. <laughs> you know, but that's, that's a, sick, like and then you know what the scriptures say, like as far as like what the you know, if a, a man has sex with an animal, yeah. you're supposed to put that animal and that man to death. Yeah. So now that animal is corrupted, you know what I'm saying? Because of the the, the guy, the, the, this fucking wicked ass place, man. Yep. You know, yep. it ain't no truth over here, man. Yep. You know? Yeah, yep. I got that right here. Um, uh, this is Jude one and seven. Uh, even as Sodom and Gomorrah, and the cities about them, because what it was, I believe, was five cities mm -hmm. all together, um, and all those cities are here. You you can look. One of those cities is Las Vegas. Uh, uh, you know, it might be Vegas, might be San Atlanta. Fran. Was the San Francisco? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Vegas, Sin City, and, uh, Atlanta. Atlanta. <laughs> you know, those cities are right here, man. Yeah. 
And, and the portion of those cities is spread amongst America, man. You know? Uh, <laughs> goes on to say, and this is how you go, you know, you go a little deeper into the, to, to the understanding of these texts, man. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and, and the cities, which is America at this point, above them like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh. Now you got some Israelite camps to say, I'm talking about America, you know, you jicks, you like, you going after white women, that's strange flesh, you know? Yeah. Okay. Again, Jake don't understand the, the, the text. When it, when it was talking about, when King Solomon, and it was talking about King Solomon going after the strange woman, because those women at those at that time were strange. They wasn't of our nation. But he was going, giving themselves under them because they was following those strange doctrines, those strange uh, uh, customs. It didn't mean he couldn't pop them. But this strange flesh, the reason why it says uh, strange flesh, when you read up above it, it says Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah. Having, having sex with a white woman is not Sodom and Gomorrah, man. Okay? But having sex with the same sex is Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah. Right? Having incest like Lot, uh, 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 daughters, right? Had sex with him. That's Sodom and Gomorrah. Popping dogs and heels or no, no, with no heels. That's Sodom and Gomorrah, man. Yeah. Uh, okay? It's like it was in Serbia. Let me put a uh, picture right here. <laughs> okay. Uh, I got a scripture unless you would. That's crazy, man. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, bring it out. Uh, this is uh. I had more, but you go oh ahead. no, you, you no, go ahead. I'll come back to um, it. This is um, Isaiah forty-two and um, twenty-two. It says, "But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes, and they are hid in prison houses because one of them devices that keep people lost are uh the the prisons." You know, the jail system, you know, whereas though when, when basically at the end of the day, people out here are institutionalized, man. You know, that's why you see a person that come home from jail and they say, man, I got to go back, man. Or, or, or they get locked up in jail and they, you know, they, they, they say that they uh can't wait to, to, to go upstairs and get that big, you know, because they're comfortable with that, that captivity, man. You know? Yeah. Uh, it says, uh, and they are here in prison houses, you know, and uh, that's even in the ghetto, man. You would think that a lot of these places are, are, are fucking prisons, man. It says, they are for a prey and none deliver it. You know, and they had that, um, I, I think it was the documentary called uh, 13th Amendment or something like that. Sorry, 13th. The 13th. 13th. Yeah. Yeah. Where the, the, the people yeah. was getting locked up. And yeah. if you don't have nobody... Like, that's one thing. When you get locked up, they sit up there and say, even if you have money in the bank, you can't really touch your your, your money to bail yourself out. You know? Nope. And what you got to do in order to to, to, uh, to get bailed out? When you go through a bail bondment, when, when, when I uh, went through the process, you know, the the, uh, the bail bondment was like, you know, uh, do you got somebody that, uh, that uh, you know, works? You know, you got to have credit and all type of bullshit, man. You know? Whereas though, when you look at our people, who do you know got that type of, uh, that type of, uh, you know, benefits? You know what I'm saying? The, to, to actually have money and then the, the, the commissioner will, will sit up there and give you a high-ass bail. Yep. You know, you got to go to some bail uh, review. review. Yep. Yeah, if you, you know? don't, if you don't make bail at a certain amount of time, Say, say they, uh, they look at your record. Let, first of all, let's say that the devil is off from the beginning. If, you, if you're if you charged with uh, selling drugs, right, and you did your time or whatever, or you didn't even go to jail, but you was charged and it's done, you might come back in there for an open container. Yeah. And they're going to look at the drug charge. Yeah. So if you was forgiven for that, you served your time, you did your community service or your probation, why are they bringing up the, the drug charge? So then, if you get locked up again, the commissioner, you, you, you automatically just take you in. You, the, the system says you're innocent before proven guilty, but really you're guilty until you're proven yeah, innocent. That's a goddamn lie. So then you get in there, and the commissioner comes in and say, well, 
He might look at you and say, shit, I'm going to sell him with a $10,000 bail, uh, which with 10000 you only need 10% to get out. Yeah. You know, so that's really a low bail. Or right. is it like a, 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 well, no, that's still not a whole low bail. That's $1,000 to get out. If you get a, five, a 3%, a 5%, you might pay 500 but you still got to pay the bail for another money. Yeah, who got that yeah. money just yeah. to be thrown away, if you yeah. you know? Yeah. You don't have that money. That's why, I, and a lot of these niggas out here, yeah. see, what I, what I know is that when you hustling, you get, you got to have your bail money and all that stuff set aside. Yeah. These niggas out here don't be doing that, but we not... Because them niggas who get locked up who do that type of stuff, mm -hmm. yeah, they off. They deserve to go do that. Right. But a person who's just on an everyday life, you yeah. know what I'm saying, yeah. and you get locked up for an open container or yeah. some, some shit. You might not have money to get out. Yeah. Then you can go, and if you don't bail out about uh, for three, four days, then they take your ass to uh, a bail review. You got to sit in front of a, a camera and a judge. They don't even let you see the judge no more. They use the fucking camera. And they, they get, the judge... Can keep the bail the same. He can throw it out, or he can raise it. Yeah, and I'm you like, catch him on a, on a good day. Yeah, catch him on a good day. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. That's a damn thing too. You gotta catch the judge on, on a good, good day. day. Yeah. These devils, man, they gotta go. And then they give you a summons to appear in the court, and the summons is really summoning demons. That's what summons mean. Yeah. You're witchcraft. That's why they wear all that fucking black. Yeah. Get the hell out of here, man. Everything dealing with the court system is witch, witchcraft and demonic. You got a, uh, uh, they got the, uh, the, the bitch there typing, the stepdometer or whatever. Yeah. She's typing. You got the, the judge. You got the jury. You know? Then when you go to church, you see the same thing. You see the preacher. You see the 12 choirs. You see the, uh, the, uh, the pulpit. You see the, uh, the pastor and the deacon. You go to court. I mean, and then you got the pews. In, in the church where you reading the scriptures or whatever, they don't read scriptures, but you sitting there singing. Why is the courthouse and the church the same, man? Yeah, they got a Bible in the, in the court. Yeah. <laughs> in, in the church, they put a cross up behind behind the preacher. Yeah. But in the, in the uh, courthouse, they put a state seal up behind the the, um, the, the judge. And then you know that the, the preachers wear the same shit. They wear that big robe and shit. Yeah. It's the same damn thing. Same thing. Yep. Yeah. Yep. They, and, and, and they make you put your hand on the Bible in, yep. in the court, you know, swear yep. to God that you, you know, yep. that you tell the truth, you know, and, and, and the whole time is a goddamn going lie, man. Yeah. You know? Yep. That yeah. might be another video. Yeah. <laughs> that might be another video. Um, yep. They say, uh, they are for prey and none delivereth because yeah. at the end of the day, that money that you spend towards your court fees at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. That that money you ain't going they ain't going to no good benefit. That going <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a um and none saith restore. Who among you will give ear to this? Who will hearken and, and hear for this time to come? Yep. Yeah that that's that's this time man that's mm -hmm. this is prophecy man. You know it says who gave Jacob for a spoil? And Israel to the robbers. Did not the Lord, he against whom we have sinned? For they would not walk in his ways, neither were they obedient unto his law. You know, because the, the thing is, you know, they got these people out here that claim to be Morris, you know, into this Morris science and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And them niggas are lost, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Africanism. Yeah. The uh uh being your own sovereign state, yeah, you know, and you pretty much at that point in time when you when you do some 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 shit like that, you know the you you pretty much setting the odds even more against you, man, you know, yeah. because that shit don't fly in Esau's court system, you know, you go to 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 court and you don't got a lawyer or whatever, you know, and the, and the, and the judge asks you. You know, hey, what you, you know, why you don't got a lawyer, you know, or, or, you know, unless you, you know, into some Masonic shit, because that's, that shit be getting people out of stuff, you know, but you go to, you go to court and, and the odds are stacked against you because you want to be your own sovereign state, mm -hmm. you know, yep. so that, that whole, and, and then you don't, the Lord ain't going to deliver you from out of that if you ain't what, if you ain't what you, nope. you know, it, it, 
based off of your skin color, you know, that the judge already judging you, you know, based off of what you look like, man. You know? So that whole Morris, uh, Morris uh, science bullshit is, is whack too, man. You yeah. know? And, and Morris, uh, more means black. It was really translate to death. That's what, they're, that's what they're not getting. At the end of the day, more is going to be, they're going to accept that chip too, man. Yeah. You know? And then they're going to have, they're going to still have the same philosophy with the chip in their hand, getting in groups, discussing uh, uh, the oppressors, but they got the chip in their hand. Yeah. They're going to have Israelite groups doing the same shit. Uh, don't worry about the chip. Get the chip and it's not a big deal. They will have, have the chip and try to prove to the rest of the people it's not the microchip and to the, and the take the chip. It's about waking up our people. The Bible says, be of the world, no, no, abuse the world. So this is part of the world. It's not abusing it. And look, man, you can always find a scripture uh, to justify wickedness. Yeah. I mean, you can. You can find a scripture in there to say, yeah, yeah, it's all right. Or not even find a scripture to justify wickedness. You can twist and interpret the scripture wrong to justify wickedness. You know? That was it on that. Okay. Um, um, that's, that, that, that's all you had on that? Yeah. Okay. I had a scripture. I, was, I lost it. But uh, that's that's what they do, man. You know? Uh, they always justify uh, uh, wickedness. You know? God, God. Um, I was um, cause you was talking about the um, the church buildings, and uh, I think it's Acts seventeen. Oh, I, I had it right here. So I... Oh no, you got it. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was going to get Acts seventeen and twenty four. Uh, but it's also one in uh, Acts seven, seven and uh, forty eight. Yep. Where I believe um, the the. I believe it's I believe Acts 17 and, and 24 is the good one. Um mm -hmm. Acts 17 and uh 24 it says, God that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands. Right. You know, so a lot of these people, do you go to church? Yeah. You know, on a on a Sunday or on, on a you know. It's like, where the hell do you see Sunday at in the, in the, in the, yeah, uh, yeah. the scriptures, man? It's Catholicism. You know? The Lord don't dwell in, in them, them buildings, man. Okay? Right. See, this is a form of church right now. That's what this is. You know? When 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 the Lord came and he said, I, was, I would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, a lot of people back then, they thought that he was talking about a, a physical building, man. No. He was talking about his, his body, man. Your body is your temple, man. You know? And then another thing, because these churches like to sit up there and say, the law is done away with. Why the hell do you need somebody to come and tell you that it's okay to eat anything? Right. You know? It's okay for you to just live in sin. You know? Just for you to, uh, you know, when you when you die, you'll be able to, to uh, enjoy life. Right. You know? That that whole Christianity thing is a, is one of the, the religion is one of the devices that kept our people lost, man. Yeah, is. You know, yeah. and they they sold they said that in that 1804 uh, thing too. Yeah. You know, whereas though they said that they uh, suicide yeah. suicide was a a, a a sin, so anybody who committed suicide was you know in in the kingdom of heaven you would you would be looked down upon. Yeah, burning you know, hell and all that. Yeah, burning hell. You know that hell doctrine is a is a thing that that keep people lost, man. You know, and that's what keep that. That's and they would push that on our women. So if a woman push it on her child at the age of two months, by the time he's twenty years old, he's fully persuaded in that shit, man. Yeah, got yeah. that whole churchy uh, uh, spirit on you. Yep. Yeah. I uh, say. Uh, Neither is worshipped with men's hands as though he needeth needed anything, seeing he giveth to all life and breath and all things, and have made of one blood all nations of men to dwell on the face of the earth, right? And have determined the times before appointed 
and the bounds of their habitation. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, the Lord, he, he did make, you know, all the, you know, all the nations of, of, the, of the men on this earth. Okay? Well, a lot of people like to sit up there and say, oh, we all come from Adam. Yes, we did. You know? We're not denying that. But anybody who is who is spiritual, even on a physical level, you can sit up there and see, well, why the fuck are these people white? Mm -hmm. These people don't even go far in, in order to see why the fuck they white, man. Mm -hmm. Don't even know why the white man don't even know why the fuck you white. Yep. You know? Yep. But you, you sit up there and you listen to this goddamn devil, man. Don't even know why the hell you might here make up some excuse. Oh, we were we were living in the Caucasus Mountains, yeah. and 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 it you know it was so cold up there that the skin no longer needed pigmentation. Your, your, your fucking eyes end up being blue too, yeah. you know. But they can't explain why the uh uh the, up, up in the um uh, up north in the North Pole, where is uh, dark skin Jake living up in there, been living in there for ages. Yeah, they never turn light. Or even the, the animals that live up there. Yeah. Why the animals don't ever they're you know, alike. change? Yeah. Why the black bear now they ain't all white? They got white bears, but they got black bears yeah. too. You, you know? got some some uh some animals got blue eyes. You know, yeah. ain't never been in no type of cold environment, yeah. but they got blue eyes. Some got dark eyes. Yeah. You know? They got yellow eyes. Yeah. You know why? The, why? The, why? The, you know, even some animals got different uh type of pupils. Yeah. You know, so why is that? Why is that? Different animals got different types of teeth. Yeah. So, uh, so why an animal got different type of teeth? Is it because they was living in a, a certain environment? No. Nope. No, that's the way that the Lord made them, man. And the Lord will put them in certain environments to survive and give them those features to survive with. Yeah. So you might have an animal that's really furry and got a, a heavy coat because he's in that environment. Yeah. But that's where the Lord put him. It wasn't that he was just skinless. I mean, he just had a thin skin and. Over thousands of years, the body said, you know what? It's time to get thick skin. Yeah. It's time to grow fur, too. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here, or, man. Or even, uh, the, the, like, some animals, they could see better at night. Yeah. Because that's the way that the Lord equipped that yeah. animal to see at yeah. night. Like owls and yeah. things like that. Bats. Some bats, so-called, don't even see, but they claim don't even see. That's another story. Yeah. They just go on radar. Yeah. But why the hell they got eyes then? Yeah. You know, just the scientists just can't figure it out. You goddamn devils, man. I, I got a scripture here. Got scripture. <laughs> this is First Peter 5, looks like 5, verse 8. It says, be sober, be vigilant. That don't mean just be sober. Yeah, man, I ain't getting no wine today. Yeah. You know? Basically, be spiritual, be vigilant, because your adversary is the devil. You just want to be watching. You just want to be watching, because the your adversary is the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. So now these Christians, again, in these churches, they think it's a red monster with, with claws like dogs or, or animals uh, with big long horns and a long tail is creeping around mm -hmm. to come into your house. And when you wake up, it's a devil sitting there trying to tempt you to shit. No, it's not just talking about that, man. It could be a nigga. It, it's, really, it's Esau. He's a devil, man. Uh, trying to trap you up in trickery and shit, man. You know? Uh, uh, you uh, um, going to work, somebody, you know, cursing you out and shit, and, you know, trying to get you tricked up and, and you're getting in a brawl and a fight. You're already on probation. Next thing you know, you get in a fight. You don't look good. You're going to jail. You just got trapped up, man. That was a device. Yeah. You know? Uh goes on to say, whom resist of steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. So we got brothers that have went and gone through these particular things. This is why it's important for brothers to communicate, because uh, another brother that went through this may be able to help this other brother. You know? You know, we are basically the same, we are one body. So if it happened to me, it's going to, it's letting us know it's going to happen to all of us, man. You know, and we're doing videos like this to tell brothers, uh, the elect, to watch out for certain things, man. Yeah. You know, you know, you got to do things, you got to work, you know, and if your woman is, is getting out of hand and, and 
cause you a lot of trouble and turmoil, guess what, man? That's another form of the devil. Mm -hmm. Stopping you from pushing forward in the truth. Now you're focusing all your time on her. Yep. Okay? Well, we got a couple more to yeah. wrap up. Um, I got the scripture of Romans 8 and uh, 5. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and when you go into uh, the school system, right, or, or the hospital or the churches, you know, of course, you you know, you go in the church and you hear that music and it just makes you want to dance, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Those are demons. You go to, um, you go to, um, hospital, you know, you sick or whatever, uh, under the, the weather, so to say, and they give you all these uh, pills and stuff like that, you know, whereas though going through life, if you've never been spiritual, you know, and you just going through the motions of life, when it's time to, 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 to be spiritual, you know, when you, you're depressed and everything like that, if you don't realize and wake up that you're actually a spirit and everything's a spiritual, then you just, by the time it's, it's time for us to get to you, the minute the, 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 the Lord to tell you like, yo, this is how things are supposed to be, you gonna be sitting up there thinking, oh, that's a Bible. Yeah. That's a man's book. Yeah. You know? Because you got fucking lost your whole life, man. You're a lost spirit, man. You how, know? How many scholars came to us and said that? That's a man's book. A man wrote it. So you know the first the first answer I always give them is what book do you read? And we know a man wrote that. Yeah. But you believe what the man wrote. But something that's giving you substance, some kind of way, you won't believe it. But you'll believe that U.S. Constitution. You'll believe that goddamn book. Yeah. You'll believe that book of the Federal Reserve. You know, you'll believe that book of getting that paycheck, don't you? Yep. That, Get the hell out of here. Yeah. And man wrote it. You know? Yeah. Well, and to be honest, let's get technical. The Lord controlled that too. The Lord wrote them books. Yep. You know? There ain't no getting around it. Everything is orchestrated by the Lord, man. Yeah. He could create it all. Yeah. These, these, this, this, this word is supposed to get you to think it's spiritual, you know, living in the spirit, you know, it say, uh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit, well, you know, so when you read these scriptures, you know, all right, we know that nothing in this world is supposed to separate us from the love of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh yeah. So everything that, that we go through in this world. We we felt the, the, the spirit of, of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. That's John 4 and 22. You know, the, the Lord is a, uh, not, that's not John 4 and 22. It's but John. the scriptures talk about yeah. the Lord is a spirit. Yeah. And those that uh, come to worship him must work to worship him in the spirit. Yeah. You know, the Lord seek of uh, those, those people, you know. So when you come to serve the Lord, you have to worship him in the spirit, yeah. you know. You have to realize, though, this fucking school system is bullshit. You know, that because in that movie 1804, they were making it seem like oh, the, the, one of the reasons why the people in Haiti are so lost is because they they don't have an educational system right. built up. No, there's no knowledge of y'all about seeing y'all side of the land. That's why the people are lost, man. Yeah. And because they don't got the fucking so-called white man's educational system. Yeah. You know, it's say um, now if they did have an educational system, what was going with them? They going to teach. In order to get funded by the schools, you must got to get funded by the government. Yeah. So what are they going to teach? They're going to twist and teach stories and lies about your history anyway. Yeah. That's how the devil remains in power, man. Yeah. They say, um, but they that, they are, they that are after the, the spirit, the things of the spirit, for to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace, you know. And with with with, with us, you know, what I'm saying, see, we're more at peace than you people would would ever be, man. You know, because we we have comfort at the end of the day, you know. When 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 these prophecies come to pass, you know, which they already come in the past. We see the RFID chip. You people ain't even ain't even looking for that, you know. Where it's coming to pass, we like, yo, the, the chip is here. We almost out of here, you know? And we actually, we're, we're living. We know that if anybody will take that chip, they already did, man. Yeah. You know? Spiritually, 
You already did. You already a, 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 a zombie as, as is. You know? The, the, the church is just made to our people zombies. The schools just made to our people zombies, man. You know? It just completely killed you people, man. That's why the scriptures in Matthew 10 and 26, you know, say, you know, go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. More than likely, a person that's, you know, has a better chance of getting this, this truth is a person that's going through something, you know what I'm saying, and they realize, oh, there's more than, there got to be more than, than what the hell is going on. Not no person that feels as though that they already got everything. Because the scriptures say that the Lord didn't come to save them that are whole, you know, but them that are sick, you know. So a person that is that is lost, you know, you could be a nigga that 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 grew up, you know, and thought that you know the gang life was what it was, but then the Lord caught you out of that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You could be a nigga that, you know, went to school but then it, it just didn't work out for you. Or you tried to 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 to, to go into the uh league, you know, and then next thing you know, you end up breaking something, you know? And and the Lord just break you down. You know, it just take you and put you on his path, man. Yep. And say, uh, because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither can indeed can be. You know, so like like his brothers were saying, if you're going through life and you just not even worried about what the Lord said, you know, because following the laws is spiritual, mm -hmm. you know. But if you that if you keep it in a carnal mindset, you ain't gonna get nowhere. But if you if you follow in the scriptures, because you say, oh, you know, the Lord said, you know, to trust on him when, when times get hard, you know? Right. Or the Lord said, you know, uh come on now. Come on now. The Lord the Lord said for me to uh to have faith, you know? Yeah. And, and to trust in him. Because in that movie also, they was making it seem like the the people who uh like if you're sitting on the on a, on the stone, you can go ahead and go uh go throw that stone and and, and fight against tanks and all that type of shit. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. And it's like yo, yeah, according to the, to the spirit, that is a true statement. Right. But we know that according to the spirit, that that's not how we going to get delivered. Right. Right. We're going to get delivered because y'all by sitting outside is going to deliver us. Yep. And we you believe know? that. Yeah. We had faith and believed that. Yeah. You know? Oh, it was pretty much it on that, though, right? I'm just going to finish off with what you were saying. Not, I'm just going to read the scripture. John 8, 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Yeah. That pretty much covers it all. Yeah. You know? If you know the truth, the truth is going to make you free. Yeah. You know? And the truth is, we have to be spiritual. We ain't no spirit. Uh, the, 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 the spirit... Uh, helps you be more merciful to your brothers, you know, especially if this brother, you know, his mindset is towards you, how about some y'all side, mm -hmm. you know, it pleasing the Lord, it's going to show in your actions, mm -hmm. you know, so when a brother corrects you, you know what I'm saying, you ain't going to be thinking of, of the carnal mindset, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, you're going to be thinking, okay, this brother is a spiritual brother, and he's saying it through the spirit, you know, that I do need to, you know, probably check myself on this type of uh, thing. That's why the scriptures say, let the righteous smite me. You know, this will be a precious oil. You know, it's that oil goes back to the knowledge. You know, so if a, a person is correcting you, correcting you in this world and you don't have no uh, knowledge of anything, you just a lost ass nigga. When somebody corrects you, you just going to be like, yo, the fuck, man? You know, you're going to want to, you want, you're going to want to fight. Yeah. You know, yeah. you fighting against the Lord at that point in time because you, we, we just telling you what the scriptures say. No. You know? No. Yeah, like you said, brother, uh, you can't have the truth without the lie. Yeah. You know, the truth is going to make you free. So if you truth, if you, 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 in order to be free from a lie, you must have the truth, you know? Um, yeah, and a lot of people will share that thing, you know, where, where uh, so-called punks or whatever, mm -hmm. You know, when well, you can't be a punk if we out there cussing a white man out in his face. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. We we saw it. I got a scripture out if I can and we can end it on this one. Yeah, yeah. Uh Jeremiah uh four and twenty one. It says, How yeah. long shall I see the standard? Right? Mm -hmm. And the, 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 the standard is that rallying point. Mm -hmm. This is the scriptures is what we all supposed to rally on. You know, we all come together. 
you know, if we lay down this the 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 the, the flag, you know, not no American flag, but right. the, you know the, the the banner of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, mm -hmm. you know, it, that's where the, the scriptures talk about. Don't you who are troubled, you know, come rest with us, man, you know, because the Lord is going to recompense tribulation unto those who trouble us, man, right, you know. Right. So so this is the standard. We set in the standard, you know. Yeah, putting on the garments, you know, that's important. You know, but it's more so about the spiritual. You know, you got to have that, the, 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 the spiritual garments, the spiritual mindset, you know, and don't be walking around uh, spiritually naked and say, uh, and, and hear the sound of the trumpet, you know, because we letting people know that the Lord is going to destroy America, you know, destroy right. the white supremacy, you know, and then usher in, you know, the Israelites, you know, into their kingdom, you know. It says, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sadist children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Yep, that's to the point. Yeah. yeah. My people have no knowledge. The truth will make you free. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, brother, that's a beautiful scripture. God. That's a beautiful scripture. God. Well, with that... I uh, hope your brothers is edified, and uh, your brothers is going to come on. Eventually, he's going to see the video and be elect, really. Um, you know, the bottom line, uh, uh, the whole lesson is uh, watch out for the stumbling blocks, man. Pray fast and, and, and be vigilant, you know, circumspect. You know, this is uh, it's all about the truth, man. You know, uh, you, you watch different videos. You watch different things. Coming into the, being an Israelite is one thing, yeah. you know, but following through with the truth is another because there's no truth inside the truth, you know? Yeah. You know, so anyway, with that, I want to say shalom. Shalom.